How many categories of adverse childhood experiences patients had encountered could by and large predict how much medical care they would require in adulthood? The higher one's ACE score, the higher number, the number of doctor vis visits they'd had in the past year, and the higher their number of unexplained physical symptoms. People with an ACE score of four were twice as likely to be diagnosed with cancer than someone with an ACE score of zero. For each ACE score a woman had, her chance of being hospitalized with an autoimmune disease in adulthood rose by 20%. Someone with an ACE score of four was 460% more likely to be facing depression than someone with a score of zero. An ACE score of six and higher shortened an individual's lifespan by almost 20 years. Felitti and Anda wondered if, there, if they were finding this strong correlation because individuals had been who had been traumatized in childhood were more likely to smoke, drink, and overeat as a sort of self-coping strategy to manage chronic anxiety, and this accounted for their poorer health. But while these unhealthy coping mechanisms were common, they were not the main explanation. For instance, those with A scores of seven or higher who didn't drink or smoke and who weren't overweight, diabetic, and didn't have high cholesterol still had a 360% higher risk of heart disease than those with an ACE score of zero. The chronic stress of emotional or physical adversity these adults had experienced when they were growing up was making them ill decades later, even though they had healthy habits and lifestyles.